Hey everyone, Carolina Venom here. Today I'm doing more of a full review of the Sharp Aquos Crystal. I'm going to go over the specs again, tell you what I think of the phone. I've run some benchmark tests and speed tests uh, since I do have service now on Boost Mobile. And I will be kind of giving you what I think of the phone in general. Uh, I will be doing a future test as far as LTE speed test, camera test, all that fun stuff. Right now, let's just go ahead and get into all that I can. Uh, this phone runs Android 4.4.2 KitKat. It does have a 5 inch display at 720 by 1280 resolution at 294 ppi. Uh, this phone does have an 8 megapixel camera on the rear with LED flash. It has got autofocus, face detection, small detection, and I'll get into all this fun stuff here in a little bit. Also records a 1920 by 1080 p HD record at 30 frames per second, and it does have a 1.2 megapixel front-facing camera here on the bottom front. This phone runs a 1.2 gigahertz quad-core Snapdragon 400 processor with an Adreno 305 GPU, it, and it also has 1.5 gigabytes of RAM with 8 gigs of built-in storage with only 4.1 gigs available to user and you were able to add up to a 128 gigabyte SD card micro SD card it's got a 2040 milliamp hour battery with around 13 hours of talk time this phone does have LTE and it is also uh, available on Sprint's Spark Enhanced LTE service so that's going to be awesome here since I will be able to do LTE testing with the enhanced spark so I can tell how fast speeds are going to be. Uh, one of the biggest cons with this phone to me so far is the battery is non-removable. Um, but you know, it is what it is. So uh, anyway, the phone is really, really nice and I have really enjoyed using it a little bit. Reception has been great on this phone. Uh, even in my immediate area, I believe that the service has been a little bit increased because I'm able to hold a phone call without really any fading unless you really you know, walk around a lot and stuff like that. But anyway, we'll go ahead and get into, into all that here in a few minutes. I love the bezel-less display. I think it's awesome. It can be a little annoying at times coming from a regular phone, but I think that's what makes it unique. So anyway, we're going to get started here. As you see, there is no speaker grill up front here as this has some kind of new technology to uh, keep it uh, where it vibrates in the phone and gives you your call quality. Uh, down here at the bottom is your proximity sensor. Here is your uh, notification light, your Aquos brand in here, and your front facing camera. On the bottom is your micro USB charging port and your microphone. On this side here is your volume rocker. On the back, you got your single rear speaker, and you have your camera flash, and this is either the microphone for the video recording or a noise cancellation, not really sure. On top, your power button, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and you have nothing on this side here. Uh, so yeah. Nice little phone, you know, with a 5 inch display. And the way this phone is designed, the phone does feel much smaller than it really is. Uh, I love the display. The 720 display is really nice. And this phone right here, um, I've seen it on sale for as low as uh, 100 bucks off contract with uh, Boost Mobile. And that's a really good deal. I mean, you really can't pass it up. I mean, you really can't, you know, beat that to be honest with you. So we'll go ahead and power the phone on here, which is already on. And uh, we'll go ahead and look at it. Uh, the screen is at 50% brightness. And the screen does look really good. I am recording in 480 resolution to kind of keep, you know, the file size down. But the screen looks really nice. Um, really no issues at all. The phone runs very smooth. It does have a few hiccups here and there. It's not a perfect phone. Like I say, a hundred bucks off contract. For what you're getting, you can't really beat it, even with a little bit of lag here and there. But for the most part, it is pretty smooth. Uh, one of the things about this phone that I do not like is the fact that you cannot move apps to the SD card. So if you got games just over a gigabyte of, of um, storage, 
you can't move it to an SD card, which is kind of a bummer. But, you know, that's just the way it is. I'm sure you can probably root the phone uh, somehow and be able to do that. Me, I don't root phones, so therefore it's just going to stay the way it is. Uh, we will, What I want to do, and you see I'm in Wi-Fi, and for some reason everybody thinks that when you're on Wi-Fi, benchmark test just does not seem to be as accurate. So what I want to do is I am going to go over here and turn off the Wi-Fi. And I am going to run uh, some more tests. As you see here, I am in 3G only. And we're going to go ahead and go to the N22 and run it. And uh, I forgot that it takes forever and a day uh, to do this test. So um, we're going to just go ahead and test it. I'm going to go through some of the things uh, about this phone. Uh, I have been able to test call quality a little bit. And... You know, call quality is okay. It does sound like you're in a box to an extent because of the, you know, not having an actual speaker. Um, now, I can have my long sleeve shirt on with my hood on and put the phone up to, the, um, up to my ear through the hood and I can hear the other person clear as a bell. So that's something, you know, that with the phone with the speaker, it would be, it'd be very... Um, muffled and be hard to hear but with this phone right here with the kind of setup it's got on it uh, I can you know have a helmet on and be able to hear somebody talking even though you got to turn it up wide open to be able to hear it it's still able to hear so um, I hate that I got to run this test again I should have done ran it I didn't run it my apologies. Uh, it's taking a little bit longer than I want it to because it has to go through all this stuff. Um, but, yeah, call, like, call quality is good. Reception is very good as well. Even though it's showing me having zero bars of service, I can push between zero and two bars of service. And it really just all depends, you know. But it seems to hold a phone call very well. And you no, know, really, no issues whatsoever. And let's see if I can get it to clear out. Yeah, there we go. Uh, but I just, like I say, I love the way the phone looks. Battery is, of course, non removable. And your micro SD card slot and your um, SIM slot is under this battery or under this uh, back cover. Um, speaker output is kind of weak. It's nothing to brag about. I was hoping it will be louder than it is, but it's pretty quiet. Um, so, that's just the way it is sometimes. Uh, <clears throat> but it's loud enough. It would be better if I had a speaker in the front, you know. Uh, also, you read on some sites where it says this phone does not have a proximity sensor. Right there it is. You know, it does work. So, you know, and right here is your professional camera. When you cut the for face the camera on it, it does it does encourage you to turn the phone upside down to get the best picture since the camera will be up top instead of the bottom. Me, I don't have much of an issue top or bottom. Um, so yeah, like I said, very good, very good phone. Um, I did, I am actually right now in the process of doing a battery test on the phone, and it's about thirty percent battery life remaining. I'm at 22, 23 hours right now. Under you no know, low to medium um, usage, I have watched some YouTube. I have watched some shows. I have been on Facebook, you, uh, YouTube, Instagram. You know, a phone call or two, uh, about 30 minute phone call today, and I'm at 30 some percent battery life. So. You know, I don't like to, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I don't like to really, you know, do battery tests because, you know, everybody's going to experience different battery tests. I mean, if you are a power user, you ain't going to get much time on this thing. If you are a light user, you might get a couple of days, depending on what you do. If you got your uh, Wi-Fi on, if you got your GPS on, your Bluetooth on, all that, you know, all that stuff really does make a difference. And I will show you one thing with this phone here that I really hate, and I will show it to you here in a few minutes. I did no cleaning on the phone before I run this test, so I'm not sure what it's going to be running here. But it's of course at the bottom. 
here at 17,856. Looking at the details, and as you'll see here, um, you know, it's not bad. I mean, really, it ain't bad for what you're paying for the phone. Performance is 50% of average. It says it's got poor game performance. Now, I have played some pretty heavy games on this, pho on this phone, and it seems to be very on par, we you know, and not have any lag with playing games. So, you know, you can't really go by these benchmark tests. Uh, I don't. I just run them to give you an idea of how the speed is. Battery performance is average at 50%. Alright, let's see what else we got here. 17,856. Now, when I go in here and uh, I go to Master, I think it's Master. I use this here all the time and when you go to junk files you'll see for some reason look I mean you'll see here how much stuff is using 527 megabytes of junk and you know you can clean it and it'll come right back you know I mean you can clear out 500 some megabytes of stuff and normally it's not this long this is going to be a little bit longer review than i wanted it to be but i kind of wanted to just you know do this here and get everything out in the open uh and you'll see it goes down to 50 percent and go to phone boost and it says everything right there that's running and it's you know alive and cpu says it's overheating we can fix that right quick like and you can go in here and cool it, cool it down. It'll get rid of some of the stuff. And it'll drop by a few degrees as you see there. And there's one more thing. Uh, but I can't find it at the moment. So, you know, anyhow. Uh, of course, you got, you know, I, I use the one tap boost, safe power, battery doctor. Go into the battery doctor here. This is where I want to show you. And this is the biggest problem with this phone. When you see right here draining fast, there is 21 power issues. Most time it's more than that. But you go to optimize and look at all the stuff that's running in the background. No idea what none of this stuff, hardly none of this stuff is. You can optimize it now. Get rid of all of it. Save two hours of battery life but it just starts right back on the song. Most of it can probably be deleted and get rid of if you could delete it, which probably means you gotta root the device to get rid of it all. So yeah, aggravating. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run a quadrant test on this phone and see what we're gonna come in here since everything now is cleared out. I am in 3G uh, speeds. Uh, which actually, I'm really in 4G LTE service area, but for some reason, I'm only able to pull 3G speeds, which really is not bad, because uh, it's really improved from like 0 0.30 megabits download to like 1.2 gigabyte, or <laughs> well, yeah, 1.2 megabits download, and close to a megabit upload, so it's a big increase from what it used to be, so I do believe that Boost Mobile, you know, in Sprint is, you know, gradually boosting their towers a little bit to be able to expand further than they have been doing, so, like I say, the Aquos Crystal is a really nice device, and I do like it, um, is it my favorite phone? Nah, but I still like it. Uh, quadrant comes in at 8,320 decent I have had better speeds than that but you know it always changes CPU down here is 32,145 and let's go ahead and get out of here and we will run a speed test the, there's times the phone when you're scrolling does seem a little glitchy uh, I normally just kind of do it like this right here and it straightens it out uh, without any issues, so we'll go ahead to go and go ahead and do this. Not the WWE Network. Watch some wrestling. Uh, we'll go in here at the speed test. 
and we'll see if we can pull any decent speeds. Speeds really vary. Um, you know, there's times it'll pull over one megabit, sometimes less than 0.20. So we'll see what we can run here today. The server is a lot further away than it needs to be for some reason. So it's not going to be that great. Ping is 805. And as you see, download speeds are awful. Uh, last night, this time, I was pushing over 1 megabit download. So for some reason right now, it's just really coming in slow. Um, but that's, that's Boost Mobile for you. You know, they're very inconsistent. I've not really ever seen Boost Mobile consistent with their download and upload speeds. You know, but I still like Boost Mobile. Now, what I want to do right now is I want to change servers um, just to get a little bit closer and see if it will help out any. And my camera is starting to flash going dead, and that's not ever a good thing. And uh, by the way, it looks it's going to be just about as slow. Yeah, pretty pointless speed test right there. I apologize, this is going to be a long review, but I want to get this thing done and to show you what and all it does before my phone, before my camera battery goes dead. I got about three minutes before it will shut off. So if it does, I will charge it up some and continue the review. So as you see here, pretty pathetic speeds. Facebook works good on it. Instagram works good on it. All eBay works good on it. YouTube is kind. I did watch a video at them speeds with only one buffer. So, you know, for some reason, like I say, it just kind of all depends. Uh, we're going to get into the camera here in a second. Uh, I did download like Looney Tunes. WWE Immortals and really it does not have any issues playing them games. I would play them But it's hard to play them with only one hand since I've not gotten away right now to hold the camera still Like I say right here is your uh, app, for, uh, app drawer here go up here to push your widgets You got a number of widgets you can use uh, And everything and I mean it's just a really nice smooth phone uh, you know, it works good, does everything perfectly. Um, I'm going to go ahead right now, charge up my camera a little bit, and we will finish the review here in just a second. Hey everyone, uh, since I didn't get to finish my review um, earlier, I decided to come out and do an LTE speed test here on the Sharp Aquos Crystal. And I'm actually right now in a spark area with, uh, with Sprint. Um, on Boost Mobile, so I'm in, actually in their enhanced area, and uh, so we're gonna see what kind of speeds we can pull uh, being in this uh, faster area. We started off around 16 and 17, and we're dropping down to 12, which is not very impressive, seeing as how. This is their enhanced spark area. I was expecting speeds at least 30. Uh, and when you get around 12, that's kind of pitiful. Maybe they're working on their towers. I don't know. But for right now, um, that's not very impressive. I will do more speed tests in the future. But as of right now, I'm just going to do just one speed test. Just kind of show you that Boost Mobile is not very consistent with their speed test. Um, a minute ago, I done a test, and I was up around 18 megabits download, which is still not the greatest, but, you know, it is, you know, I was pulling that with, um, with regular LTE, so 12.91 megabits up the download and 5.63 megabits upload. I will do more tests, so stay tuned, and also stay tuned for the final part of the review. Okay, so now I'm back with the final part of this review. As you just seen, I've done the LTE Spark speed test and wasn't very impressed with the download or upload speed right now. 
especially being in their spark network but maybe you know they're just getting their tower set up to you know, do better I don't know but uh, maybe in the future they'll get faster I know that boost mobile is pretty inconsistent with their download and upload speeds but they're still pretty decent nothing really to complain about to be honest with you uh, one thing I wanted to show you about this phone is the screenshot uh, it's different than any phone I've seen where you just hold you know the power and the volume and take a screenshot well it has to be enabled on this phone it's somewhere in the settings uh, but what you do if you want to take a screenshot put your finger up here at the top corner and push down and start scrolling you'll see the page there and you just swipe away and save the screenshot if you hold it down a little bit and pull it back and let it go it won't take a screenshot so you gotta hold it take it swipe it save the screenshot so a little bit different there than any other phone I've ever seen but it's kind of a cool feature and you know, so I like it I think it's neat so anyway thought I would just show you that so uh, the final part I'm gonna kinda take you to is the camera a little bit and show you some of the features of the camera uh, I will be doing some picture and video tests on this phone as well I'm in the process right now of getting that done so hopefully it'll be up soon I uh, can't tell you when because I'm not really sure when yet but hopefully it will be soon up here is your settings get your ISO mode white balance your shutter mode self timer touch screen shutter your autofocus you have face center micro and autofocus off anti-shake anti-flicker and your save to device or SD card here is your front facing camera you just push that there and your camera for front will come on your flash uh, this right here takes you, takes you through different settings you have auto mode uh, this mode here is standard portrait night portrait scenery night scenery food text sepia monochrome uh, bleach bypass you got fisheye miniature panorama and mirror mode 8 megapixel it does show you the megapixels of the camera 6 full HD 8 megapixel 2 and VGA quality your night mode auto or off HDR on or off in your grid mode go to your camcorder and you got the same thing here your settings button got your white balance your mic settings on or off set uh, self timer uh, focus settings it always goes back to center or standard uh, even if you push uh, AF off which I leave it off because it does focus way too much when you move the camera so it always goes back to center even when you have it set to off which is kind of annoying but anyway uh, you got your well hit the hit the back button sorry about that got your self timer focus anti flicker save the SD or stand, uh, or device time lapse is a pretty cool feature as well it does record in full HD 1920 by 1080 HD at 720 720p VGA 640 by 480 and QVGA 240 resolution and that's just about it so you know the camera's pretty pretty stock it's not a whole not nothing really to brag about but I will do a picture and you know video test in the future on this phone so that's basically about all I wanted to say about the phone right now um, it does have Harman Kardon audio which only works if you got a headset uh, if you got ear um, earphones plugged in uh, the clip now is where you go to turn off or on to be able to swipe to do a screenshot and everything so you know it's, it's just a really nice phone I mean really no issues I've seen this phone go for around a hundred bucks right now on sale in some stores uh, and for a hundred bucks you really can't beat this phone no 720 HD display uh, the phone is pretty smooth with just very few hiccups 
Uh, I do apologize that this was so long, but this is the full review, and I kind of wanted to just show you some, you know, a lot of the things to the phone. Uh, texting is pretty good as well. Uh, reception is on par. I can pretty much get out wherever I want to get out at, and without any issues, without any drop calls. Uh, call quality, it does sound like you're in a box sometimes, but you know, depending on where you hold it, hold it to your ear, you know. It, it's, it's good, not the best. I prefer a speaker on the phone, but you know, it is what it is. So, anyway, I hope this helps a little bit. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to ask me, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, subscribe to my channel, I sure would appreciate it. This has been my review of the Sharp Aquos Crystal on Boost Mobile. Great phone, really recommended. Y'all have a good one. Talk to y'all later.